Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Hi, welcome to the next episode of The Power of Women in Business. And today I yet have again a very, very special guest. She's in the Netherlands, but she's traveled this morning from the UK to be here with me and other occasions to do this interview for you. And I'm very honored to introduce to you Yvonne Thompson. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hello. Um. So Yvonne, since starting her own PR company over 30 years ago, Yvonne has acquired an exceptional range of transferable skills that can complement high performing companies and organizations. Originally, she's from Guyana, South America. Yvonne has always shown an entrepreneurial flair, not taking the usual channel to the small business arena. She evolved from freelance writing for many music industry papers, including Music Week, The Industry Bible, and IPC weekly and monthly titles. She also has been involved in many successful firsts in the UK, including being music it, uh, editor for the UK's first black monthly glossy magazine, mm -hmm. Root, and also being a founder and director of the UK's first black music radio station, Choice FM, now owned by the Global Radio Group. Other firsts include starting the first black owned PR company, according to PR Week, now known as um, ASAP Communications. ASAP Communications. <laughs> wow, thank you. Yvonne is no stranger to engaging with prime ministers, ministers and high profile personalities in the business arena. Having made a mark in the UK, she was awarded a CBA, Commander of the British Empire, in the Queen's birthday honour list in 2003 for her services to women, small businesses and minorities. Yvonne has been hailed as a role model in the black community in the UK and Europe and for women in generally wanting to start their own business. She has chaired many governmental committees and Yvonne has always also won many awards, too many to mention. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing uh, I'm very excited about is uh, Yvonne is the founder of the Win Trade Week and we will talk a little bit more about that later on because I think that's very interesting for you. So, wow, Yvonne, welcome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that doesn't really sound like me. I'm not sure where you got that information from, but um, thank you. You've been very generous. Thank you. Well, I was quite impressed. <laughs> I, I've, I've met you a couple of times as, as the organizer of the Win Trade Week. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, uh, when I read this, I thought, wow, you know, you, you do so many things. And, the fact that you're a role model, I'm, I'm, I'm very honoured that you want to be in my show too. Oh, well, thank you, no, thank you, and thank you to the audience. I, I hope whatever comes out of this interview today that it's useful and you'll find something that you can take from the interview and um, apply to your business straight away. So that's why I like doing interviews like this and sharing tips and tricks. Well, then we have something in common. Good, good. <laughs> so I, I will start with some of the questions. Yeah. I'm really curious. Yeah. Why do you think it's so important for women to start to do business internationally? For me, um, it's important for women to do business internationally because as women, we tend to be too colloquial, meaning we do things in small areas, in small places, in small towns, and we're so much more. I think the opportunity we have that's been given to us on the plate is the internet, and we have to learn to use it because there's so much more business out there. I think it's really important 
that we learn to work with each other internationally. The world is such a small place now. It, just, it, it is. really is yeah. a small place and there's so much business out there. We can do far more than we do um, than just working in our local towns and cities. And why, why do you believe that women play so small? I think it's because we're, we're so used to um, managing things like, you know, managing the home, managing the family. Mm. We think more closely and we yep. work with people that we like, mm. we work with people that we know, and it's an opportunity to expand. We can get to know so many more people and they can become a family too. Yeah. And you know, I believe it's not only because of the internet nowadays, but flying is so cheap. Absolutely. And, and you know, distances are so close now. Yeah. We, this morning you woke up in the UK and I was sitting here. <laughs> yeah. I woke up in the UK very tired, <laughs> very early. But yes, absolutely. But you know, why? Yes, of course, we, it, it would be great if we can pick up and travel and do lots of traveling. It's a wonderful world. But the opportunity to do business at the click of a button, True. right from your very own living room, yeah. um, kitchen table most of the time, it's there. So yes, I, I mean, I encourage people to travel, find out more about the world, but you have to do, you have to start with your research at home. True. Make sure whatever you do, whatever business you do internationally, that you do your due diligence and that you do your research. It's great being able to do business internationally, but you have to know who you're doing business with. And would you suggest to find out who you do business with, start online, do research? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Anybody that is a serious business person will have a website. You can find them in Wikipedia. There will be, you know, tons and tons of listing on about them on the internet. And if somebody approaches you and says, hey, I want to do business with you, Right now, the first thing that everybody does is Google. Yeah, LinkedIn, for yeah. example. Oh, Google, <laughs> yeah. LinkedIn, yeah. Facebook, all of the social True. media. And if you can't find them there, don't do business with them. I agree. <laughs> I totally don't agree. Don't do business with them. <laughs> it's true. So, um, what, what, do you, what are the traits, disciplines and competences that women need to do business internationally? I think, first of all, for me, the, the biggest thing is really about passion. You need to be passionate about your business. You need to know your business. You need to make sure that you know who your competition is. You need to know where you need to, to go. You need to know, you need to know what you don't know and find out and mm. know it and learn it. So learn, find out what you don't know and learn about it. So that's one of the things, and that's all about research. It's researching your business, your industry, your competition, your opportunities. Um, and I think once you've got all of those elements in the mix, that's a very good start. I think to do business internationally, you have to be a bit like me. You have to be able to get up early in the morning. <laughs> especially if you travel, yeah, definitely. You have to be, especially if you're doing business in a, di a, a, in a totally different time zone. Um, you know, I, I, I can go to bed late, I do go to bed late, but I'm always up very early in the morning. Uh, there's a saying, and I'm sure it applies here as well, the early bird catches the worm. So, okay. yeah. do you know that one? I, I haven't you know? heard of it, but oh, I do understand that, what it means. Okay, good. <laughs> so it, it's a very English saying. So, you know, if you're up, um, you'll be able to do all the things a lot of people don't do that that are on different time zones, basically, so. True. Yeah. And there's something I would like to uh, highlight. You said, uh, do you do diligence, do you research? Don't you feel this is a typical uh, female thing? Women are very thorough. They like to be prepared. Definitely. Um, I think we are very risk averse. Yeah. So we tend to do as much research, but sometimes the kind of research that we do, we have to know what it is we're looking for. Yeah. We have to know who we're researching, how we're researching them, what we're doing, um, because you can be so thorough and still miss the very smallest things. And okay. sometimes it's the little things that mean a lot. Okay. So um, due diligence is very, very important. 
One one of the other traits that I didn't mention that I think is the two other traits actually. Oh wow. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. I think as women we have a lot of emotional intelligence and I think we need to put it into our business and use it in business. Mm. The other thing that we need to have, and I think most women do, is resilience. Yeah. You have to be able to fall down, you know, hundreds of times, but be able to get up a hundred and one times. Yeah. You know, and we, we, we do that so naturally when it's uh, our kids, uh, yes, for example. Absolutely. So it's it's something you have to do in business too. Absolutely. Yeah. And your business does become your child. <laughs> you know, True. It becomes, it becomes your everything. It can become your husband. Yeah. But I heard a joke once, <laughs> is that, you know, if you had to choose between your husband and your business, always choose your business, because your business won't leave you. <laughs> True. <laughs> your husband might. And your business you can control. Yes. And your business you can make it the way you would like to do. That's true. That's oh, true. We're joking. Yes, of course. We're, of course we are. Yvonne, you, you pressed on due diligence. Do you want to uh, explain your secret? How do you do due diligence? What, what do you look for? I, for me, I like to take um, getting to know people very slowly. I am one of these people that I'm open, I'm very open to meeting new people, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that I automatically accept you. Yep. It does mean that it takes a long time for me to get to know you, to get to know what you're about, to get to know whether you and I have the same sort of temperament, whether we have the same sort of business um, ideals, mm -hmm. um, you know, even to the point where, um, you know, could I get up at two o'clock in the morning and, and email you and will you answer? Uh -huh. You know, it's little things like that that helps you to understand if you can really click with somebody mm -hmm. to do business. But the, the diligence is also, um, you know, and sometimes you've got to be so careful. Uh, just as an example, um, you know, I've been asked to chair lots of things. Yeah. And I recently chaired, I am recently chairing something which I looked at I thought I was doing my due diligence I looked at all the accounts and I looked at all the legal paperwork and mm -hmm. I looked at this and I looked at that and I thought I was fully prepared and so I accepted the chair of this okay. organization yeah. and um, I was a little bit caught out oh. in that all was not what I thought it was going to be but how would you know you, you, it's you, difficult. It you, is difficult. You, you need to be out there to find out. If you're presented with some facts, don't always. It, not everything is what it what it seems to be. Okay. And was no, was there a little warning voice or? There wasn't. There wasn't. Okay. Because we women can can have that sometimes. We have so a lot of intuition. Yeah. Well, this is it. We have a lot of intuition, and what you mustn't do is ignore that little voice yeah, that comes in and you think oh no it's not. and then you go on because it's that little warning yeah is what you should pick up on yeah i like that so why do you like to do business internationally why are you so passionate about it i love doing business with women um i'm i'm a great believer in uh equality mm -hmm. um i'm a great believer in diversity i'm a great believer in what we call womenomics and that's about yeah. empowering can women. you repeat that again womenomics womenomics okay. not not economics womenomics i love that word. and and that's about empowering women economically mm -hmm. to be in charge of their own financial destiny to be in charge of their own financial freedom mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how what how great um a business person you are you must know the ins and outs of your financial situation, Definitely. your personal financial situation and your business mm. financial status. But I find that this is something which is not a typical thing women like to do. It's not, but you know, <laughs> you, 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 you don't need to be experts in everything. Um, if you're good at something, you focus on what you're good on mm. and you find other people yeah. to work with who bring those other skills to the table yeah. to make the business a whole exactly and that's, that's when you start to run a business and, Absolutely. When it's not only and there's some you. great female yeah. accountants they're great 
female lawyers, there are great female yes. bookkeepers. You know, we're out there. We are out there. We can do as much uh, and sometimes a lot better than our male counterparts. It's just learning to trust each other, yeah. pulling in the right partners, reliable partners. You know, you started your networks all over the world and it's finding people that you can go to different countries and say, you know, you're starting, you're doing this for me. And you can walk away and feel very secure that these people are of the same, uh, what's the word, discipline, yeah, the yeah. same you know, thought, leadership, position, as you are. So you don't have to worry. But I do. There always will be. There will, there will always be. Yes. Um, there will always yeah. be. And it'll be strange if exactly. you don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, there's trust. Exactly. There's yeah, trust. That, you know, I, f I feel that's one of the most difficult things for women is to delegate. Yeah. Uh, but you have to when you want to grow your business yeah. and you have to when you want to make impact. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's Indeed. arguments I have with quite a few female business women who Indeed. are still on their own and I want to help them to scale up. And the first thing is of course to starting to, to outsource. You yeah. have to learn to let go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. So uh, in the beginning, in your introduction, mm -hmm. I introduced you as that you were also the founder of the Win Trade Week. Yeah. Um, I believe that's a very, I, I participated a few times, I believe it's a very good occasion uh, to meet many international business women uh, at the same time, at the same place. So why did you start it this okay. uh, week? So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 21 years ago I started a business network uh, for women essentially in the UK. Uh, to support each other. But then all of a sudden I found women coming from France, from Italy, from Holland, mm. um, uh, from Germany, from lots of different places, um, even from um, America, from Japan, from South America, we had people coming. And um, that's one of the reasons when we all got together, it was just amazing to see the buzz in the room, to see the support, to see the international yeah. connections that were going on. Um, so for me, it was very important to start a women's business network. 21 years ago, I couldn't find a women business network. I find, could find lots of other yeah. networks, drinks, lunch, ladies at lunch, you know, types of um, networks, but not business. True. Um, and I, I had the same over here. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it was very much needed. And now that more and more, since from 21 years ago, more and more women are now begun, be, becoming more independent. More and more women are starting their own businesses, and more and more women need support. And who is out there to support women? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women. So, yeah. So, but first, it was men. Yeah. And women weren't getting the kind of support, the kind of advice, the kind of, you know, care yeah. that another woman in business True. can mm -hmm. share. So, it was for me, it was very important to start that. Um, but we were also working with women and bringing delegations in from different countries at different times of the year. And three years ago, I decided, why don't we bring everybody in mm -hmm. at the same time, in the same place, and give them a week to network, learn to, to um, network with each other, learn about each other, do business with each other, yep. and then celebrate each other with the awards uh, ceremony at the end of the week. So that's what we did. Um, it was very important to have everybody in the same room at the same time because what we were doing was bringing in people from Holland to do business with women in the UK, bringing in people from France to do business in the UK. But if we're all there together, people from, come from France can do business with people from Italy, from America, from Japan, from England. It's all there. It's it like... Yeah. It's like one world in one city in one week. 
That's and, and that's completely true. Good. And I I, I can vouch for that because mm -hmm. um, last year I, uh, I I think I was uh, this you is can, the, you can twice. Years, yeah, yeah, I came twice. So last year I met my media partner who is now promoting uh, my business network uh, for women in the UK. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was pulled out of the week uh, for an interview. That was not planned. That was not staged. Yeah. So many things can happen, you know. Yeah. I came. I always go on these trips. Uh, I, I like to go unprepared, mm -hmm. just just to to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Who am I going to meet? Be open and and see what's going to happen yeah. and evolve. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, definitely, many many women were there. Yeah. And I yeah. think um, and that's a good attitude to go with. You know, don't go with any preconceptions because if you go with preconceptions of course there is a basic preconception that you're going to do business yeah but um what you need to do is go with an open mind because you don't you never know who you're going to meet like Tinica, you can walk away with media partners you can walk away with people who are going to join your own network or do business with you yep. um, and I think it's just about going with an open mind be prepared to network hard it's not about it's for me the networking is the real the, it's networking, true. It's, the yeah. networking and the learning because we had some pretty spectacular speakers and again this year we're going to have some phenomenal speakers we've got some phenomenal guests already um, you, you said you have a special theme this time yes right? what's yes. what's the theme so the theme for this year is um womenomics women entrepreneurs interaction interacting with the digital age so it's really about the information the tools the skills the disciplines that women need to have to work in the digital age because when you actually bring your business into the digital age and start automating it mm. and, and you know we're going to learn a lot about AI, artificial ai oh. artificial intelligence I love that subject. We're, you know, we're going to talk about um uh, fintech so financial um technology we're going to talk about blockchain that's another yeah. new and interesting thing that not many women know about and I think we really do need to learn and open our minds to as many things as possible to make us yeah. the true entrepreneurs we are. Yeah, I agree. And especially those things, because doing that now means you're ahead of the, of the, of the, of the, of the big, oh. big crowd. Yeah. 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 And I believe that's always a good place to be when you do business. Yeah. So you were going to tell me about some special speakers, I believe. Because okay. I interrupted you. Okay. So we have um, uh, a very special speaker from Oman, where I was very lucky to be invited to speak at her conference. And I said, I'd love to come and speak at your conference in Muscat. It was an incredible experience, the most incredible experience. Um, and that is Her Highness, I've got to get this name right, Her mm -hmm. Highness uh, Saida Al Sayed Basma. Now, she is um, from the, the royal family in Muscat. She's coming to speak about mental health, oh, right. women and mental health, women entrepreneurs and mental health mm -hmm. um, and we also have um, another shaker from Kuwait uh, Shaker Majda Al Sabah I'm getting I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm <a guest. laughs> um, and she's going to talk come and talk about her business and women doing business in the um, UEA countries um, and can you explain the, sorry, the United Arab, Arab Emirate countries? Exactly. Yeah. Um, we also have um, Baroness Scotland, who is um, she's head of the, the Commonwealth Secretariat, so she does a lot in Commonwealth countries. Uh, I had the honour of speaking with her on a panel about women in business and. The, the things that she was talking about and how Commonwealth countries need to develop. Mm. Uh, it's so much, just exactly what we were talking about. So I thought she was, and she's going to open the conference for us, the convention for us at the House of Lords. We're going to have um, uh, one of the, one of our local MPs, our top MPs, uh, speaking 
with us as well in the speaker's room, which is one of the most glorious uh, rooms in the House of Commons. You haven't been to that one yet, oh. so you've got to come back specially to go to that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's not an easy place to get access to, but thanks to your connections, uh, yeah. We, we have an amazing time then. And then, of course, after the opening of the conference, conference we then go to, um, to the House of Lords on the terraces of the, of the River Thames, on the Thames to have yeah. high tea with, in the House With the view on the London Eye. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And that will be Baroness Scotland, Baroness Burma and Baroness Howells. So we've got all the representatives from the different parties who are interested in women in business all coming together to host us at the House of Lords. Um, but we also just confirmed the, um, the chief executive of Facebook, Nicola Mendelssohn. Oh, wow. So she's come to speak at the dinner. Um, and we've got a few more high profile women that we are still confirming. Uh, but in the round, it makes some spectacular speakers. We've got Microsoft coming to speak. We've got Facebook speaking. We've got Linklaters. We've got Deloitte's. Uh, we've got Royal Bank of Scotland and Nat West. There's, well, you've done them all. <laughs> so when, when, when is the date? Well, the date of this year's convention is the 24th to the 28th of June. Okay. So it's going to be nice weather in London and uh, we'll have a great time. Yeah. Uh, I remember the traffic last year in London. <laughs> that wasn't I easy. Know, I know, I know. <laughs> well, so, you know, this is definitely one of the places where you need to be to meet as many international women, if you can, in one week. Uh, I wasn't looking for a media partner last year. I had no idea I needed one, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I didn't even have my network yet last year when I visited the, uh, the, the conference. Uh, but now, you know, somebody I met there and she's my media partner. That's and amazing. So that's why, why I say, you know, the open mind is so important. You know, you, you meet people, but you don't know what you're going to do with them in the end, later, maybe a few years from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so wow. So Yvonne, is there anything you would like to add to the conversation? I think really just to say that, um, you know, we, we welcome with open arms any and everybody who wants to come uh, to win trade. We are today on the 31st of January. Um, in fact, it'll probably be tomorrow. But we are tonight, we're launching the, why I'm here in Holland is that we're launching the nominations process. So I encourage you to visit our web website, which, which is wintrade.com, okay. um, nominate somebody you know, and attend a fabulous, not only a fabulous convention where you learn and meet and network with so many people, but then come to the celebration, which this year is on a Friday night. Oh, good. So you can stay, you can drink, you can dance, you can enjoy yourself and sleep late on That's, a Saturday morning. Yeah. But do uh, nominate somebody you know in business to come and be part of Wintrade. Wow, thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned a lot from uh, Yvonne. And I assume you know where to go uh, if you want to learn about doing business internationally. I can definitely recommend. So thank you so much, uh, Yvonne, you. for uh, being in uh, the Power of Business uh, Women talk show. Thank you. And um, thank you for watching. Well, maybe this, sorry, can I just end with one thing? Yes. Anybody who comes through and says, uh, uh, Tinica invited them, will have a special discount for them. How about that? Okay, yeah, so you, you give me a code, yes. I, at the end of the video, you always know at the end of the video, we also have an ad of our guest yeah. with the contact details, with the website, and we provide with, uh, to you a special code, um, and uh, well, thank you. We'll have a good discount.
then you will get a discount. <laughs> so um, um, thank you for that offer. Well, thank you. So and and I hope you enjoy that. And I hope we might see. I I, I definitely think I will be at the gala <laughs> dinner. I so much love gala dinners. Yeah, <laughs> so few well, then, well then, let everybody that comes with you. Then how about that? We'll make sure that they all. Yeah, we'll make a group picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're you're very much invited. Thank you so much for being in the sh uh, as a guest and watching us in thank the show. You. Thank you. Um, learning from Yvonne and see you next time. Bye-bye.